Buzz Allen. Uh, today we're going to be making some Greek style uh, lamb burgers. We've got all our ingredients ready to go, the oven's primed, so let's start cooking. Um, just beginning the process by toasting off a few uh, coriander seeds, which we're going to mash up and put into the mix. Um, when you're toasting any kind of spices or herbs, uh, do them individually, otherwise you're back to square one because you've burnt the whole lot. We'll just let that simmer away, saute away. So we've got some nice lamb mince there, and lamb doesn't have a lot of uh, fat in it. Lamb mince doesn't have a lot of fat, and we're not putting really much binding into this, so we need to add a bit of um, something that's going to help hold the burger together. So I'm adding a bit of pork mince in there as well, which has got a bit more fat content. So, naturally we have to have some salt and pepper. So, good amount of salt. Uh, taking it, you know, in the kind of Greek direction. So, reasonable amount of zest. These are great. Just really, really fine, able to really, really fine zest. We're now going to put some um, herbs into this uh, mixture and we're going to use uh, quite a bit of fresh mint, uh, oregano, fresh oregano if you can, and uh, lots of flat leaf parsley. Um, you could put some thyme in here if you had it. Um, again, it's just trying to get some real fresh, uh, sparky flavours going on when we, uh, you know, that are going to pop out when you eat the meat. Um, I'm also going to put some. Uh, I've got a bit of marjoram here, so we've got oregano and marjoram, which are, you know, pretty classic Mediterranean um, flavours. Uh, I'm also going to put a little bit of, I've just recently started getting a bit more, and I'm not that big on dried herbs in summer, but in winter they are fantastic, obviously, especially if you're doing a lot of slow cooking. Um, but I've just sort of got into using a bit of dried mint and things, I really like mint, it's one of my favourite herbs. Um, and it has a quite a different uh, depth of flavour, I suppose. So I'm going to put a wee bit of dried mint in there as well, just to amp up the mint. You could use um, powdered or you know ground coriander, or you could use ground cumin. But again, you're going to get more vibrant um, flavour by freshly toasting and grinding. Okay. You can see I'm not measuring anything, but that's the way I cook. Um, so it's all about, you know, going by instinct. And again, everyone has different palates, so uh, if you cook a lot, you'll know how much of everything you like. The onions, we need to take a bit of that oil out, so I'm just going to uh, sit these on a paper towel for a few minutes. And also, we want to just cool them down before we put them into the meat, the raw meat mix. So we're not adding, you know, right hot ingredient into a cold mixture of meat. Um, okay, we're going to do some garlic. Um, this is beautiful uh, garlic from South Island. I was down there harvesting it over Christmas and a uh, fantastic time of the year for garlic. It's all fresh and strong and sweet. Um, great time to um, roast garlic or you know braise with lots of it uh, when it's not so dried out and whoops and um, intensely strong. I tend to just mash it rather than put it through a garlic press. And the other little trick which I'm sure everyone's seen is you can put a bit of salt on there and uh, chop into that which will help absorb the garlic oil and uh, just keeps you bored of it. Uh, easy to manage, it doesn't get quite so squishy. So garlic. So salt, pepper, lemon zest, all the herbs, garlic, the freshly pounded coriander and cumin, and they're cool enough now. Put those in there. Uh, mix all this together. So we're not putting any egg in here, we're not putting any breadcrumbs. It's a pretty, uh, you know, prime meat little mixture. Um, so now we're going to form our patties. Um, another little tip is to make the patties you know, a bit of time before you want to cook them and just let them firm up in the fridge. Uh, they just sort of bring the flavours together and it will just make it easier uh, when you come to cooking them. Um, the other way to look at doing this is if you've got so much mixture and we've got, you know, whatever we've got, 10 people, 
just put it into a bit of a roll and then we could go okay let's go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so i'm just going to put these away in the fridge and um we'll come back to those in a minute some rockets work out how much about how much you're going to need to fill your tin so it's is that much and we're going to chop up a few sun-dried tomatoes I'm not sure why i don't really like sun-dried tomatoes i think sort of they've got about overdone a few years ago anyway they are quite good on in these kind of things if you want to get a wee burst and also they are good to use if you're i think like making a tomato sauce or ragu or something you know, like a pasta sauce and blitz some of these into it you do get another layer of uh, tomato going on there uh, let's crumble some feta into this got some olives with um, stones in today so we'll take the stones out I think just dice those roughly I'm just sliding a bit of olive oil into here and we'll lemon juice. I'm going to throw a bit of parsley, flat leaf parsley in there because I like it so we'll just put a few of that but I'll just pull the leaves off that make that another salad component and then that just can stand aside really till uh, we're ready to go. Um, so we've got our salad made, we've got our burgers that have been sort of resting in the fridge for maybe half an hour or so uh, just to come together. We're going to um, saving pans, we're going to use that pan that we cook the onions in and I'm just going to put a little bit more oil in there. Okay, so oil's come up to um, temperature, we'll just you know, put one in to see that's... Yeah, we've got a bit of a sound uh, going on there so we know that that's about okay to do what we want to do, which is really just to seal and um, brown a little bit the burgers um, to hold all the moisture in. And again, I guess you're know, like cooking all meat, you don't turn back forth, back forth, but get one side cooked first and then uh, turn it um, again, otherwise, you just it's never going to cook evenly and you'll end up with this kind of half cooked layers and a raw inside. So let that heat start coming through those a little bit. Okay, that's about brown enough. Bit of colour, sealed off. And at this stage we could um, give it another little sprinkle of salt and pepper. Can't go wrong with salt. Okay, we've had 10 minutes in here. Um, yep, I think they're pretty right. Um, if you want to, you could do a little, uh, you know, a little knife test just to make sure that they're, yeah, they're pretty cooked. They're pretty good. Well, they are good, not pretty good. And we'll just start assembling up um, the little burgers. So I'm just using some, I suppose if these were authentically Greek, which they're not, um, we'd probably be putting them in a pitter or something like that. So you could think about that as another option. I'm just using these little soft, White buns, burgers on top. Um, I think there's enough flavour and enough dressing in these, but if you wanted to add into it again, you could drizzle a little bit of maybe yogurt with some fresh mint on it, just to give it another thing, or serve that as a as an option. Green one on that one. And then um, onto a platter. 